I did a little more on the uh, brushless outboard bolt motor. Um, I got the, the adapter and the collet and everything all machined. Um, I got the the base plate. All I got to do now is uh, that mo the motor is going to mount onto there just like that. And I just need to uh, center up my base plate on top here. I, gotta, I still need to cut down my flex shaft. But uh, once I do that and, and get the, the holes all drilled in this, then I can mark out around around this edge and, and uh, cut this piece down to size so it fits on there and take and polish it up and we'll be done with that. And go ahead and stick it in his boat and, and see how that works. But it, it turned out all right. Um, I, I machined a, a little groove in there up uh, up on the the top section that's that's a two piece so uh, where the motor actually mounts to it and where the top piece mounts or the bottom piece mounts to the to that bottom plate uh, I've just machined a little groove in there so I could put a bead of silicone just to try to keep the water out of the bearing of the motor there but uh, you know it's it should work out pretty good you know that that top end bells you know fairly well sealed on there so you know as long as we keep water out of that that uh, bottom bearing of the motor we should be all right and this uh, this bottom plates gonna cover the water hole in the bottom of that and I'll, I'll uh, silicone the base on that when I put it on there too just to keep any water out of there also but uh, I don't have that much more to do on this but um, you know, once I get it all put together, I'll come back and show a little more on that also. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. Um, I finally got this uh, brushless uh, outboard boat motor uh, all mounted onto the, the outboard drive. But uh, I didn't do a real great job polishing it. And, and uh, I just... Uh, Need to get it done so we can get out there and see what uh, what this thing's going to run like. It uh, fits on real well. Um, only thing I'm kind of wondering about is uh, whether uh, with that much motor, whether the bushing in the lower part of the outdrive there is going to be able to handle all that power but uh, we'll uh, grease it up real good and get it mounted on the boat and get it out into the water It'd be nice if we could get it out there this Sunday but I doubt we'll get it out there Sunday but uh, I don't know once we get it mounted and get it out on the water I'll get a little bit of video on it and show you what it runs like it's kind of an oddball deal but we'll see how it works